Breaking the sound barrier and creating a sonic boom tends to be associated with fighter jets travelling at incredibly fast speeds. But what is a sonic boom, and why does going faster than the speed of sound create a boom? Firstly, you need to understand what sound is and how it propagates. Sound waves travel fastest through solid materials, then liquids, and then gases. Unlike light, sound waves are a mechanical wave, whereas light is a transverse electromagnetic wave, which means that sound needs a medium to travel through. On average, the speed of sound at sea level is 340 meters per second. In water, it is 1,433 meters per second, and in a solid such as diamond, the speed of sound is 12,000 meters per second, 35 times faster than the speed of sound in dry air. The speed of sound in a medium also varies with temperature, as the change in temperature affects the density of the medium. There are two properties which affect the velocity of a sound wave, elastic properties and density, with this relationship being described by this equation. Sound travels faster through steel than rubber, as steel has higher elastic properties. The elastic properties relate to the tendency of a material to not deform when a force is applied to it and to also maintain its shape. At the particle level, rigid materials have molecules with stronger forces of attraction for each other. The greater the elastic properties and the lower the density of a medium, the faster sound will travel through that medium. Although solids such as steel are far denser than air, steel's elastic properties are much greater, meaning that sound traverses through a solid material such as steel faster than a gaseous medium such as air. When an object is moving through the air, for example, it creates pressure waves at the speed of sound around the object such as how a boat does when it travels through water, as it creates bow and stern waves. When such an object travels faster and faster, the pressure waves begin to not be able to get out of the way of each other, causing them to build up, compress, and eventually merge into a shock wave. Essentially, when something breaks the sound barrier, it creates compressions faster than the compressions can move away from it, and they end up piling on top of each other. It is a common misconception that when you go supersonic, that you only cause one boom from the transition from subsonic to supersonic. But the boom is continuous for as long as you are going supersonic. This means that if an aircraft is approaching you at supersonic speeds, you will not hear any sound from the aircraft as it is travelling faster than the sound it can produce, meaning you will only hear the sound after the aircraft has travelled over top of you. Sustaining supersonic flight does come with its issues, with aerodynamic heating occurring, meaning that aircraft need to be designed with materials such as stainless steel or titanium to sustain supersonic flight as some parts of the aircraft can hit hundreds of degrees. For those not into guns, bullets break the sound barrier with boring regularity. The sound difference between a supersonic and a subsonic bullet is noticeable, as you'll hear now. When bullets enter the transonic region, the shifting of the centre of pressure causes the amplification of static and dynamic instability, causing the angle of attack and the yaw of the bullet to potentially dramatically change, which is impossible to compensate for, and can cause bullets to impact on their sides instead of at the tip, and decrease overall accuracy. Bullets can however enter into the transonic region with no problem, but the ability of such a bullet to do so is quite unpredictable. It might sound as though breaking the speed of sound is unreachable unless you have a supersonic plane or a gun around you, but with just a flick of a whip, you too can break the speed of sound. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe.